Hey guys, Malibu Darby here. Welcome to my channel. If it is not your first time watching, welcome back. Today, we are doing a little bit of red lip Valentine's Day pre-glam tutorial. Gonna be doing like a talk over something different for me I have not done before, so I'm really excited. If you are already here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell over here so you know when I upload. I recorded this video and literally like my camera went haywire, it was a whole mess. I didn't even get to do my outro intro, so I literally followed my own tutorial to do this look all over again. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna jump right into it. If you would like to see my red lip Valentine's Day glam tutorial, stay tuned. All right guys, jumping right into it. I am going in with the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Just kind of rub that all over, get a nice even base. Priming is the very first step and I cannot do my makeup without priming. I'm going in my eyebrows. I just take a spoolie brush and I brush them out. I then go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Duo Powder. I do an angle brush right into the darkest powder and I just kind of outline my eyebrows. It's not super important to be like really neat or in all the lines because we are going to go back and clean it up. So I just go in with I think it's their ebony powder and just kind of fill in the general eyebrow area. This definitely changes. Sometimes I use gel, sometimes I use a pencil. It's kind of what I'm feeling today, that week. And this week I was feeling using the powder. This is a really good powder. I've used some other ones that didn't do what I needed them to do. So I just kind of stick with ABH, even though I know their price point's a little bit higher. Stretching, because I'm clearly really about to get beat. With that same spoolie, I go and just brush out that product to take out any harshness. We don't want like super crazy harsh eyebrows. So I just brush them to try to get a little bit more of like the natural effect. Then I go in with a flat brush and the MAC um, Pot Concealer in NC48. And I'm just going to clean up and kind of sharpen up around my eyebrows. I go underneath and I also go above. I really love this concealer. It is super creamy. It does not move. I don't like using liquid concealers for this because I just want it to be really neat and really sharp, clean lines. And NC48 isn't much lighter than my skin tone. So I don't run the risk of like having crazy halo eyebrow or anything like that because that is a thing. And I've definitely had that happen to me before. So same thing on the other eyebrow. Just outline around. Get that product. I bring it down just a little bit. I don't do my full um, eye like I'm going to be doing concealer. Oh, well, I did on that one. So sometimes I don't do my full eye. Um, but I just kind of put it on the eyelid to start a base for my eyeshadow. And you'll see I'm just kind of cleaning up the general shape of my eyebrows. Trying to make them as even. But, you know, they're... Cousins, not sisters, girl. Um, not even twins. So now I'm taking this fleshy brush, this fluffy brush, and just blending all of that out. Again, you want to always blend, blend, blend every step so you don't have a lot of harshness. So I blend that out. And then I use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer on my lid to lay that base with my beauty blender to get started for our eyeshadow look. So you know I'm not, I'm not big on eyeshadow, but I am always trying to do more. So again, I'm stretching getting ready because this is a whole nother thing for me so I'm going in with the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill palette and I'll link everything in the description below uh, for the most part so you guys can see what we're doing so I'm going in with the second to darkest brown shade uh, I believe it's swirl and I'm just kind of using that as an all-over lid color kind of a transition color just to get started on the eye since we're doing a bold lip today, I know I didn't want to do a super crazy eye look, but I wanted to get something that felt a little bit more than just, you know, my usual plain kind of eye look. So basically, just to give you guys like the basic idea so we can speed through the eyeshadow, I'm going to be going in with the two darkest brown shades kind of in and out. I'm just trying to create some depth and like on the outer corner of my eyes. And then eventually I'm going to go in with the NYX eyeshadow base in white to really make the gold and like metallic shade that I'm going to use in my inner corner kind of pop so I'm just going to kind of carve out the little area where I'm going to put that um, so it's not like a full cut crease just using the base to kind of find and make the area that we're going to put the eyeshadow really stand out so then I'm going to go over that with the gold shades I do kind of mix the shades 
So again, I'll list everything that I use below because I kind of go into all the gold shades back and forth until I feel like I get the right tone or the right shade that I want. I do have hooded eyelids, so creases and things like that, eyeshadow looks, are a little tricky for me. So you'll kind of see that I play with the products for a while, just trying to get the area right and where I want off of my eyes. So I'm starting to pack in that gold. I love this palette and I use it all the time. I did find that this gold wasn't like as pigmented as I really wanted it to be, but I just kept packing that in, packing that in. And then I'm gonna go in once I finish packing that gold into the other eye. I just wanna make sure I blend it so it's not a super harsh line. I didn't mind this being like a defined kind of gold area, but I did wanna blend it a little bit more. So I'm just gonna let us speed through the eyeshadow and we'll kind of see what the final eyeshadow look comes up with and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I'm going in now with my NYC Mega Liner. This is a super pigmented, really slick, smooth liquid eyeliner. I'm really just putting it on like just for a little bit of eyeliner effect because I'm going to be putting on a super duper dramatic lash. Um, so the liner isn't really my biggest concern. So here are the lashes. I did them off camera. I'm going to, I have to play with them for a little while because they are a big lash and I'll tag the company. I think this is a 25 mm lash, I believe 25 millimeters. Um, so I go back in and just kind of hit my arches with some of that same gold eyeshadow. Once I do my lashes, just for kind of a finishing touch. Now we're gonna go in with my LA Pro Girl Orange Color Corrector. You guys know how I color correct. If you haven't, I will make sure I link that video in the eye card. But I just go around the mouth, under the eye, and any like specific dark spots that I see. Then I go in with this super dense brush I got from Sephora, and I am blending that color corrector out. Again, this is just to even out those tones before I put those other colors, and just so everything can be super smooth and flawless and natural as far as complexion now i'm going in with my foundation right now which is the lancome tint e doll and i'm just going to dot that all over and then we're going to buff it out i think i did two or three pumps for this look probably three because i do like a nice coverage with this and i feel like three to four pumps is like what you need for really a good full coverage with this foundation but they have an amazing range it's an amazing finish and it's a good base for really any look. I wanted my skin to be a little more natural for this look. So I didn't use anything like my Kat Von D. So I'm just buffing it out, making sure you go down the neck. For highlighter, I'm going in with my Fenty and my Born This Way concealer. I like to put the Fenty directly into my eye. And then I take that Born This Way and I put it below the Fenty just to kind of help like it naturally blend into my complexion. Because the Too Faced is a little bit darker but that Fenty really pops. So I'm gonna take the Too Faced on my chin, my forehead, to highlight those areas as well. Um, I like to let mine sit for a little while, so we're just having a little margarita. And I'm gonna go back in with my Damp Beauty Blender, starting with the chin and the forehead, because I do like my under eye to dry down a little bit more than the others. And we just start to blend that out, really pressing in and controlling the products, because you don't want it to start to get like too muddy. So I just like to try to control and keep it tight under my eye when I highlight with these two products. And definitely have the Beauty Blender be damp. I try to not have it be super wet because it will kind of push the product around and almost start to take your makeup off. So usually I'll wet it when I first start or even spraying it with some of my Fix Plus from MAC is always really helpful. I'm going in now with the Sasha Buttercup Powder and I'm pressing that in right under my eyes to give that highlight. The Sasha Buttercup Powder is amazing. If you're a deeper skin tone than me, the Ben Nye Topaz Powder is also another really good um, setting powder, translucent powder for deep skin tones. So I just press that in the areas where I highlighted, including the chin and um, the forehead as well, just to set all that. I didn't highlight my nose, but I am putting powder on that because I get super oily on my nose. So I'm just going ahead and putting the powder just to kind of deal with that now. Going in with my black opal, I'm sorry, my black radiance powder for contouring with a nice big fluffy brush just to kind of get the edges and bring a little bit of definition back into my face. I go down the sides of my nose, but I don't like super nose contour just because I don't like that sharp of a look. Then I go back in, I'm using my Fenty translucent powder and I'm going in under that contour just to clean it up and also just to kind of ch chisel it out a little bit more and make it a little bit more defined so you can really get those 
those cheekbones and get that like super nice contour. I go in with my MAC and Raisin and my NARS and Taj Mahal and I use that as a combo for my blush. It's kind of like an orange pink glow kind of look. So it's a really nice blush and it's kind of my go-to blush. Then I go in with my Fenty highlighter and I'm just going to hit my cheekbones. I usually do like my cheekbones and then I usually do like my nose. If I didn't already do my arch and my eyebrow, I do that. And sometimes the top lip, depending on the look. But definitely always hit the cheekbones. And I like to just kind of do the tip of my nose for a little extra. And then for the lip, I'm going in with Night Moth from MAC. Love this liner. It is like a redder alternative to Chestnut. And since I'm doing this red lip, I want to definitely have kind of more red tone so it wasn't too like neutral because the red I'm using is a pop in red. So just line completely around. I do a little X at the top so they look extra juicy when I put the red on. Then I'm going in with Sephora, always red. Love this lip. It's literally like super pigmented. It gets matte, but it's not dry. It's a beautiful lip color, especially on deeper skin tones. It's not too blue. Uh, it just looks pretty and it stays on really well. So that is going to be the finishing touch. Um, then I have to spray and do my hair and we're done. That's it. All right, guys, and here is my final look. I really like it. I experimented a little bit. You know, I'm trying to get in the eyeshadow, so I try to do a little eyeshadow, but keep it mostly neutral. The Sephora red lip is literally the perfect red lip to me. I just finished eating, and it's still, like, perfect. Nothing on my teeth. It stays in place. It doesn't get all over the place. I've had some reds that, like... After a little while, like I got red here and it's everywhere. So it's a perfect red, especially, you know, if you're going on a dinner date, going to eat, do a little kiss here, a little kiss there. So it stays in place really nicely. But overall, I like the look nice and natural, nice and simple. The eyelashes are not natural, but that's okay. I'll link those in the description box as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.